Dear friends, in the series of the heroic women in the New Testament, today we learn about the woman Mary who anointed the feet of Jesus at Bethany. We read this incident in the Gospel of John chapter 12. During, the, during his ministry time, Jesus used to visit the Bethany at the house of Lazarus, Martha and Maria. And there this Mary uh, takes the, uh, the costliest anointment and anoints the feet of Jesus six days before Passover. Because Jesus, uh, the final Passover, he would ascend to his father. Having known this, Mary does not hesitate to anoint Jesus' feet and to wipe it with the hair of her head. That is an utmost expression of her gratitude and of her love. But this act was seen as the waste by Judas Iscariot. He said, why was such a waste? Why can't this anointment be sold for 300 denarii and the money be given to the poor? It was not out of uh, real concern for the poor that uh, Judas Iscariot spoke like this because it is written in the gospel. He was a thief. He used to steal money from the purse, common purse that was with him. But for Mary, the life that Jesus is going to offer himself on the cross as libation for all our sins, in front of that great sacrifice, this 300 denarii costed nothing. Therefore, it was a, such a costliest expression of love that Mary shows. One denarii was one day wage of a labor. Therefore, 300 denarii for Mary did not count the cost of her expression of her love. For her, the love of Jesus was the greatest with the, more than the cost of the money. At that time, Jesus tells uh, Iscariot, Judah, the poor will always be with you, but I am not going to be with you. Therefore, you can always help them. But Mary has anointed me for my burial. Therefore, wherever the gospel is proclaimed, this act of her gratitude will also be proclaimed. Dear friends, how often we bargain to go for the Sunday Mass, to spend one hour how often we bargain to help a poor man we see on the street. Our help, our money, our work, our family, everything is a gift from the Lord. Therefore, let us not hesitate to give the Lord one hour in a week to go and worship Him with our family members, with our children, with our grandchildren. It is better to worship when we have the breath in our body instead of being carried into the church when we can no longer walk. The mercies of the Lord is great, as the says the psalmist. Therefore, let us learn from this Mary, who expressed the depth of her love in anointing Jesus' feet and wiping her with the hair of her head. The Lord says, Give and it will be given to you. Fully measured, overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure you give is the measure you receive. Therefore, let us not be stingy with the generous Lord. Let us give our time, our energy to worship Him in the church as well as in our personal pr prayer, our family prayer, rosary in our family. I wish you a very good day.